welcome to the Arki Games. Here in District 1 we have Arki and Amber, opposing District 2 with Christelle and John Boy. In District 3 we have Linda and Matt, both with their happy little alive statuses. In District 5 we have Dylan and Ariana. Wait, 4. Yeah, Arki. District 5 we have Monique and Raymond. District 6, Lara and Jibbles. In District 7, Steph and Nick. District 8, Brian and Anjana. 9, Albert and Nathan. And now I'm proud to introduce you all to my dear friends Sam and Dean Winchester from District 10. Representing District 11, we have Mr. Ed Sheeran and John Snow. In the District 12 one, we have Rastus Ashby and Taylor Swift. The one and only. Welcome to the bloodbath of the Arca Games. As the tribute stand on their podiums, the horn sounds, and Rastus immediately rips out a mace out of Nathan's hands. Amber, Anjana, Ariana, and Brian share everything they gathered before running. Raymond runs, Arki runs, Christelle runs, everybody runs from the cornucopia. Except for Steph, no, Steph takes a spear from inside the cornucopia, while Linda grabs a shield, leaning against the cornucopia. <laughs> uh, Taylor Swift bashes John Boy's head against the rock seven times. Good night, sweet prince. their bets. Matt runs away from the cornucopia. Jibbles, Lara and Dean Winchester start fighting, but Lara runs away as Jibbles kills Dean Winchester. Sam Winchester clutches a first aid kit and runs away, and Monique grabs a shield leaning against the cornucopia. Ed Sharon runs as Albert stays for resources, and Dylan gives as much food as he possibly can. Day one at the Arky Games. Rastus is thinking about home, while Jibbles discovers a cave. Taylor Swift receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor, and Mason, Nathan, receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Matt constructs a shack, while Dylan attacks Helbert. Helbert manages to escape. Anjana convinces Raymond not to kill him, only to be killed himself. <laughs> Amber manages to injure her, while Monique fishes. Arki chases Ariana, and Nick sees smoke rising in the distance but decides not to investigate. Jon Snow defeats Crystal in a fight, but spares her life, for he is... Oh, Jon Snow. Steph tries to spare a fish with a trident, and Ed Sheeran is pricked by fawns while picking berries. So is Lara. Lara is pricked by fawns while picking berries. There's two casualties to the berries, I fear. Linda makes a slingshot, and Sam Winchester attacks Brian, but he manages to escape for now. Oh no, night one of the Arki games. Albert quietly hums. Orastus questions his sanity. Ed Sheeran attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. I see fire! Nick and Jon Snow sleep in shifts. Ah, I see. The teammates in the making. Ariana thinks about home, and Cristal receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Sam Winchester sets an explosive off, killing Matt! No! Not Matt! Anjana is awoken by nightmares, and Monique receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Oh my god. And District 1 is out of the game. Arki attempts to climb a tree, but falls on Amber, killing them both. Dylan convinces Lara not to kill him, only to kill her instead. Forever the crafty one, Dylan. 
Taylor Swift, Jibbles, Brian, Steph and Linda sleep in shifts. And Nathan sets up a camp for the night. You can't just fucking kill me. Ugh. Day two at the Arcade. Taylor Swift begs for Albert to kill her. He refuses, keeping Taylor Swift alive for his nefarious needs. Brian picks flowers. Nathan injures himself, and Steph searches for a water source. Rasta severely injures Jon Snow and leaves him to die. <laughs> Ariana runs away from Christelle, and Monique makes a slingshot. Ed Sheeran receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor while Nick explains his ankle while running from Linda. Anjana discovers a cave, and Jibbles receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Sam Winchester begs for Dylan to kill him. He refuses, keeping Sam Winchester alive. I feel like Dylan's racking up a few kills in this game. Fallen tributes for night two. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Matt from District 3. Haruki from District 1. Amber from District 1. Ara from District 6. And John Snew from District 11. Spoiler alerts. Night 2 of the Arki Games. Steph dies from hypothermia. Ah, oh, that sounds climatic. My god! Ariana strangles Dylan with a rope. And Ed Sheeran is awoken by nightmares. The monstrous Dylan has fallen in, at long last. By rope? Linda and Albert tell stories about themselves to each other. Lovers in the air. Sam Winchester and Mathan hold hands. Boom. Love really is in the air. Hunger Games. Araki Games. Bringing people together. Christelle defeats Jibbles in a fight, but spares his life. And Anjana tends to his wounds. Rastus overpowers Brian, killing him. And Monique convinces Nick to snuggle with her. No. Taylor Swift thinks about him. Imagine she write a song about it. Nick chases Sam Winchester. I don't advise that, really. Back off, Nick. Linda and Jibbles hunt for other tributes, and Mathan is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Ed Sheeran constructs a shack, and Albert throws a knife into Monique's chest. What a twist! Taylor Swift searches for a water source, and Christelle injures herself. Meanwhile, Ar Ariana and Rastus work together to drown Anjana. <laughs> Stay away from the water, Taylor. It's not safe. Fallen tributes. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Steph from District 7. Dylan from District 4. Brian from District 8. Monique from District 5. Anjana from District 8. Seed. Night 3 at the Arki Games. Nathan, Albert, Sam Winchester, and Ariana sleep in shifts. Jibbles destroys Rastus' supplies while he is asleep. Bastard. Ed Sheeran tends to his wounds, while Linda, Nick, and Christelle cheerfully sing songs together. Taylor Swift quietly hums. Day 4 at the Arki Games. <gasps> Taylor Swift injures herself, while Albert receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Christelle tends to Rastus' wounds, while Ariana and Jibbles hunt for other tributes. Ed Sheeran chases Nick, and Nathan receives a hatchet. Linda receives an explosive, and Sam Winchester makes a slingshot. As night fall falls, no cannon shots can be heard in the distance. <clears throat> night four of the Arctic Games. Albert and Linda run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Christelle, Nathan, Nick, and Ariana, and Ed Sheeran sleep in shifts. <laughs> Rastus looks at the night sky. And Taylor Swift lets Sam Winchester into her shelter. You heard it here first. Taylor and Sam. Jibbles is awoken by nightmares. Sam Winchester searches for a water source. Albert attacks Nick and he manages to escape. But Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, Ariana and Rastus hunt for other tributes. Christelle picks flowers. Priorities. Come on guys. Flowers. Nathan searches for a water source while Jibbles tries to spearfish with a trident. Linda constructs a shack. Why is all the killing? I 
demand blood. Night five at the Arki game. <laughs> Linda and Taylor Swift huddle for warmth. Ariana tends to Nick's wounds. Well, Jibbles climbs a tree to rest. Christelle begs for Nathan to kill her. He refuses, keeping Christelle alive. Meanwhile, Sam Winchester passes out from exhaustion. Rasta speaks about home. Ed <laughs> Sheeran lets Albert into a shelf. Motherfucker is mine. Back off. Day 6 at the Arki Games. Rastus makes a slingshot, and Christelle attempts to sleep for the entire day. Albert accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. Bitch, don't you get me some weird. Jibbles overhears Sam and Linda talking in the distance. Well, Taylor Swift kills Ed Sheeran with his own weapon. Jesus Christ. What a twist. Ariana begs for Nick to kill her. He refuses keeping Ariana alive. And Mason receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. For our dear Albert and Ed Sheeran. Fucking love you, Jimmy. You got what you deserve. Night 6 at the Arki Games. Jibbles looks at the night sky. While Ariana, Mayfield, and Sam sleep in shifts. Rastus and Christelle huddle for warmth. While Taylor Swift tends to her wounds. Linda loses sight of where she is, and Nick thinks about home. Whoa, we've reached the feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute families. Ariana ambushes Jibbles and kills him dead. Mayfin, Nick, and Sam Winchester get into a fight. Mayfin triumphantly kills them both. Good night, Nick. Good night, Sam. Rasta sets off an explosive killing Linda, and Christelle decides not to go to the feast at all. Taylor Swift decides not to go either. I feel like I may have been wise. Day 7 at the Arki Games. Christelle makes a slingshot. Rasta scares Taylor Swift. Ariana unknowingly eats toxic berries. Is this the end? Mayfin receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Is Ariana one of them? Or will she live to fight another day? Jibbles. Nick. Sam. Linda and Ariana. Don't the videos. Night 7. Christelle thinks about home while Rastus loses sight of where he is. Taylor Swift poisons Smaven's drink and drinks it and dies. Taylor's got a bigger kill count than anyone at the moment, except for maybe Rastus. Rastus is pricked by thorns or empty berries. Taylor Swift practices her archery. <laughs> Christelle tries to sleep through the entire day again. Getting a recurring theme here. One cannon shot can be in the distance for our dear Nathan. This is it, it's all coming to an end. Taylor Swift convinces Christelle not to kill her, only to kill her instead. The mutiny. Orastus unknowingly eats toxic berries. No! Not my cat. The winner is Taylor Swift from District 12. Oh. Well. Interesting. Winner, Taylor Swift with four kills. Rastus in second place with four kills. Ah, you can read. John, 24th place. <laughs> it's... yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed. This was kind of fun. I kind of called it with Taylor Swift winning. And John dying. Hey guys, thanks for watching and getting involved. If you want to see some more details first and make your own one, I'll leave links in the description. Thanks again. Have fun. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.